we live in a country that's being transformed significantly, radically, I would say, perhaps, by this immigration phenomenon. And so I went to a small town in West Texas, Anson, which is near Abilene, deep West Texas, a town of 2,400 people. And it was a town that prior to the Civil Rights era was entirely white. Uh, the uh, Mexicans who uh, live, or people of Mexican ancestry who lived in Jones County, of which Anson is the county seat, lived in the surrounding farms, but they weren't allowed to live in the town. Uh, they, and Jim Crow laws were in effect in relation to Mexicans in this part of Texas, so they were not allowed to enter restaurants and things of that sort. But with the advent of the Civil Rights era, <clears throat> that town uh, became really transformed from being entirely white to about a third people of Mexican ancestry when I started coming there in uh, the late 80s, early 90s. And, and so what I studied is how that transformation was, was sort of living in this town, viewing it as a kind of a microcosm of what's in some form or fashion happening all, uh, in many places of the country. And what I found is really a range of, of responses to the social stresses that that kind of transformation activates. And so uh, there were interesting alliances between people. There were people, there were a, uh, a number of intermarriages, for example, and there were people who, on the one hand, were really still steeped in the pre-civil rights era mindset about what people of Mexican ancestry were like and about and what place they should have in their community. And there were people who had, by virtue of experience or intermarriage or, or sometimes out of necessity because the children of the white families had migrated to Dallas or Houston or Fort Worth. And so uh, sometimes people had to give um, individuals of Mexican ancestry jobs, for example, that prior to that had not been open to them. And so that, that changes things because there's a kind of an economic necessity. If you want to keep the dry goods store open, you've got to hire Mexican clerks. If you want to keep tellers at the bank, you've got to hire Mexican-American uh, people and so on. So it started really changing the way in which people understood one another. And I think that has to do with the fact that uh, they were actually having to sort out the complex problem of having people of different backgrounds work and live together.